Bonjour les enfants, bienvenue dans notre classe de français pour la classe 2, la classe de Madame Yolanda. Et aujourd'hui, nous allons continuer à apprendre le français. Dans ma classe, nous allons parler en français. Nous allons parler un petit peu en anglais, mais nous allons parler beaucoup en français. D'accord Ok, super Très bien Before we speak in French, let me first explain to you why do we learn French. Because remember, in everything we do, we must ask ourselves why do we do what we do. So we're going to ask ourselves why do we learn French. And what is the French language, right? So, a language, let's, let's talk about a language. A language means a way to express yourself, to express your ideas by words or by sounds, articulate sounds, right? For the communication of your thoughts. So you think something and you want to communicate that to somebody so you learn the language, right? Just like when you're little, you learn Spanish or you learn English, right? If you're in a Spanish-speaking family, that many of you are, then you started learning Spanish when you were little. You learn the language of Spanish. And then you learn the language of English too. For some of you who were born in an English-speaking family, you learn the language of English, right? So that's what a language is. And France, French is a language. So you're learning to say, to say your thoughts and to communicate them in that language. Why do we learn to speak French? Well, we learn to speak French for a few reasons. Number one is because Miss Sarah is French and I'm a teacher here. And so I thought that would be wonderful for you, all of you students, to learn French and to know how to speak French and to know how to read French and understand French. And so, um, so that's a great opportunity for you guys to learn French. And then the second thing, oh, because you know, Miss Sarah, when she was little, she only spoke French because that was my first language, right? Okay, the second reason is, well, you might meet French people in other parts of the world. You don't know where you're gonna go when you're older. Maybe you'll go in another country where they speak French. And so when this happens, you'll be able to say something to them and they'll understand you and they'll be so glad that you can speak their language. So speaking language is another person's language is very important. Also, you'll be able to maybe share about Jesus with them in French. You'll be able to help them if they need help and be a blessing to them. And maybe as you be a blessing to them and as you speak to them, maybe you'll be able to share about Jesus with them and they'll be able to get saved. So speaking French can help you with that as well. It can help you to propagate the gospel. Remember our school is CLIP, right? K-L-I-P. Remember that? Clip. And it means the K is for to know, to know God, right? The L is to love God. The I is to imitate God or to do what? To be just like God. And then the P is to propagate the gospel, which means to share with others about Jesus and all the things that we have learned, right? And so... Imagine that you can do that in another language. And some of you already know English, already know Spanish, and now you're learning French. You'll know three languages, just like Miss Sarah. How wonderful that will be for the future. Okay. Also, a very important one is that we, when we learn French, we can learn to read in French. And when we learn how to read in French, 
we can actually learn to read from very important people who have written books in French that were so important to the making of this great nation that we're in, the United States of America. Because there are a lot of things that have happened between France and the United States over the centuries. And so now you can learn French and you can understand how French, France has been an influence for America. So this is a wonderful reason to learn French. All right. So here's what we're going to do for our first lesson. Voilà ce que nous allons faire pour notre première leçon en français. Nous allons lire le psaume. Les psaumes. Psalms. Right? The psalms. Nous allons lire les psaumes. Nous allons lire le psaume 1. We're going to read Psalm 1. And we are going to learn it by heart. Nous allons apprendre le psaume 1 par cœur. Can you say par cœur? Très bien. Par cœur. Quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, je ressemble un arbre, je ressemble à un arbre planté au bord d'un ruisseau, planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Il donne beaucoup de fruits, beaucoup de fruits. Et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes, et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. Psaume 1. All right. So, I hope that you got your page so you could look at it. Okay? So, uh, you're, you're, you have a page that looks like this. Vous avez une page qui ressemble à ça pour votre classe de français. Et vous avez le psaume derrière. Le psaume. OK? So you can follow with Miss Sarah as we read. OK? We're going to read it one more time. This time, try to say it with me. Quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, quand Je fais ce que tu aimes. Je ressemble à un arbre. Je ressemble à un arbre. Planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Il donne beaucoup de fruits. Il donne beaucoup de fruits. Et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. Et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. Vert. Psalm 1. So let's translate and see what it says. Quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, when I listen to you, Lord, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, when I do what you like, when I do what you like. Je ressemble à un arbre. Je ressemble à un arbre. I look like a tree. I look like a tree. Planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Planted by a little river. Planted by a little river. Il donne beaucoup de fruits. Il donne beaucoup de fruits. It gives so many fruits. It gives so many fruits. Or it yields so many fruits. Et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. 
et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. And its leaves are always green. And its leaves are always green. Psaume 1. So this is your psaume que vous allez apprendre par cœur. Que vous allez apprendre par cœur, right? That you're going to learn by heart. So you're going to know it, you're going to memorize it. So I'm going to say it one more time, a couple more times, as you color. So here's what I want you to do. You see how you have the first page right here? Vous avez la première page. So you're going to write your name and the date. Votre nom. Nom is name. Votre nom et la date. And you're going to write the psalm. Okay? So you're going to write it on there. You're going to do the best you can to write it. Okay? So you're going to write it on here. So don't write too big. You have to write small so that you can write it on there. And then when you write it, I want you to draw something that speaks to you in that psalm. So maybe you can draw a tree with lots of fruits and green leaves and the river that it's planted by. Maybe you can do that. Okay, that would be wonderful. Just kind of like the pictures right here. Kind of like the picture. That would be a good representation. But if you want to, if you think of something else when you listen to this psalm, then you can draw it too. But it has to have something to do with what the psalm, the psalm, the psalm says. Okay? So, it, I'm going to read it again to you. And as I read it, I want you to write the psalm and I want you to draw it. Okay? So, every day for the next couple of days, if you work on it, maybe today you can write it and then tomorrow you can color the pictures. So, as you do that... Um, I want you to listen to the psalm and try to repeat it at the same time. It's very important that you repeat it. C'est très important que vous répétez le psaum, ok? Avec Madame Sarah. Répétez le psaum, ok? So grab your pencils, grab your pen, your pencil to be able to write it and grab your colored pencil so you can color. I want you to make a beautiful pictures and I want you to color it. Draw it, color it, make it look very nice. Ready? We're going to say it again. Quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je t'écoute, Seigneur, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, quand je fais ce que tu aimes, je ressemble à un arbre. Je ressemble à un arbre planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Planté au bord d'un ruisseau. Il donne beaucoup de fruits et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. Et ses feuilles sont toujours vertes. Psaume 1. Now, what do you think this psalm means? When I listen to you, Lord, when I do what you love, I look like a tree planted beside the waters or beside the little river. It yields many beautiful fruits and its leaves are always green. What does that make you think of? The fact that the tree has green leaves and has lots of fruit, has lots of life, right? The water gives it life, right? And so that's how it is. When we obey God, when we listen to God, we're just like that tree. We are full of life. And we have, we, we're, we bear good fruits, right? We are blessing other people just because we are so blessed, because we're so alive.